Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create styled content boxes in Divi for tips, info, warnings, and more. Here are the final results we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. We're gonna give our page a name and we're just gonna call this content box. We're gonna click on use Divi Builder. So for our design, we're going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to click here on build from scratch and we're going to go for a single column. So I'm going to select this. Next, we're going to add a blurb in our column. So I'm going to search for it. So you can just type in a few letters and your module will show up here. So I'm going to select my blurb. Now let's go in and make a few customizations. So first of all, I'm going to come over here to image and icon and make sure that this is set to yes. And this one here is going to be an information one. So I'm going to scroll down until I find my information icon. So I'm going to go all the way down here and here it is. I'm going to select that. Next, let's head over to our background color. So I'm going to click here on background and we're going to add white to this. So I'm going to paste my value for white like that. And we also need to add a gradient. So we're going to go into the next tab, select this, click on this plus button, and we are going to uh, add our first color by coming over here and pasting it. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the blog post in the show notes below. Now it's time to add our second color. So I'm going to come over here, paste my second color. Now we need to go to the gradient direction. So right now it's set to 180. This needs to be 90 degrees. And then we also need to set our start position. So we're going to set this to 3 EM. And then our end position needs to be 0. Now let's customize our icon. So to do that, we need to go into design, image and icon. And for our icon color, this needs to be white. So I'm going to come over here, set this to white. Icon alignment, at the moment it's set to top. This needs to be left because you want it all the way over here to the left. And then we also need to customize the size here. So we need to activate use icon font size. And we're going to set this to 2EM. Now it's time to work on our text. So we're going to start off here with our title. So I'm gonna click on this pen brush tool and I am going to set my color here. So I'm gonna click on this eyedropper tool, paste my title color. Now, while we're here, we might as well set our sizes. So I'm gonna start here with my title text size. We're gonna set this to 1.5 EM. The line height is going to be 2 EM. Next, let's go to the body color. So I'm gonna come over here to body text click on this eyedropper tool and paste our color in here. Now let's set our body text size. So this is going to be 1 EM. And next we need to set our line height and this here is going to be 2 EM. Now let's move on to our content size. So we're gonna scroll down here until we get to sizing. So what we need to do here is to set our content width. At the moment it's set to 550 pixels. We want this to be a hundred percent and our maximum width is going to be 700 pixels and for our alignment let's center this now we need to add padding because as you can see things are just way close to the edges so what i'm going to do is to set specific padding around this so i'm going to come over here to spacing so we're going to start here with uh, the top and bottom padding so i'm going to come over here set our top to 2 em and the same is going to be for the bottom. So I'm just going to click this chain here. So both values can be added. Now on the left side, you can see all our text is going over here to this bar. Let's set this to 5 EM. So now everything has been pushed in. That's looking great. And then finally on the right, let's just set this to 2 EM. Now it's time to add a subtle box shadow. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go over here to box shadow and choose this one right here. And you can see right at the back there, there is that gray drop shadow. But um, it needs to be customized because it doesn't look great the way it looks. So let's go to our vertical and set this to zero. Now the box blur strength, we need to up this to about 88. And then we're going to set this to minus 10. Because right now it's a bit too extreme. Okay, so that's now very subtle. And we also need to adjust our color here. So I'm going to go in and we're going to set this to 0.17 like that. So it's not as so it's not as extreme as it was. 
Okay, so now that we have this all set, this is looking great. Next, we need to add some CSS code. So this CSS code can be found in the blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Next, we're going to come over here to advance custom CSS. And the CSS that we need to add is going to go on the blurb image. So you need to make sure you choose the right box here. So I'm going to paste my blurb image in here and you notice what happens here. This CSS code has pushed our icon into this area here and just given it a boundary. Okay, so let me just delete this so you can see the before and after. So I'm going to delete that and you can see now it's gone. And then when I paste it, now it's in the right position. So now that we have the first design, we can go ahead and save. And to make different variations of this, you can just duplicate this and then you can go in, change background colors and also, you know, any other further changes that you may need to do. So for this one here, we are going to uh, do some customizations. So first of all, we're going to go into our module sections and then click advanced. So the code we need to add needs to go to the blurb image. So I'm going to come over here, custom CSS. So let me just delete this for now and add my code, which is just going to add zero pixels to the bottom margin. Next, I'm going to come over here to my blurb content. And this is a CSS code I need to add to the blurb content. So you can see now this is a different style to what we have here on the top just by adding CSS. Now, remember, we had five pixels over here in our padding. Let's go ahead and remove that by coming over here to design spacing so this is the five that we need to get rid of i'm going to delete that and now notice that um, our eye now is in this blue area so we may need to add maybe one em here just to center it a little bit or oh, maybe that's a bit too much let's try 0 0.9 so let's keep going down here until that is right in the middle so i think right about uh, 0 0.6 yeah i think 0 0.6 works so you can see there it's right there in the middle. So that's another style that we can do. So you can go in, customize these, change colors. And to change colors, all you have to do is to come over here to the background and update all your colors. The colors are right here. So this is your gradient. You can just change this color here to whatever color that you want. And you can have different variations of this design. So let me just give you an example of what we're able to do using this same technique. So I'm going to come over here and you can see our designs. We change the color here. We also change the color here in the background. And we're also able to add other versions of this design. So this is just by making some updates to our initial design that we've just done. And again, you can see these, these are just change of icons and colors. Okay. So go ahead, try them out, and you can start using these on your existing websites. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.